Welcome to the 70s Buzz Podcast. <laughs> well, that was loud. That was pretty loud. That was pretty loud. But I'm not going to be doing that, so. How do you know? You could be. You... Until we do that one part. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm ready. Hey, Todd. What's up, Mr. Curtis? What's going on, man? We're doing another episode of the 70s Buzz Podcast. But today's a little different. It is. <laughs> Why is it different? Well... There's a funny stick over there, and it's got this funny-looking phone thing on it, and it's taking pictures of us. Actually, it's video. We are video podcasting today. So yeah. for you loyal listeners out there, uh, you've probably seen our picture yeah. here and there, maybe, but probably not, though. If you've never been to buzzheadradio.com maybe not. or uh, Buzzhead Radio on Facebook page, you probably have not seen us. So we thought... Uh, I've been doing some... Uh, local uh, interviews where I've had to do uh, video and so I thought well let's just keep the video on and we will uh, podcast with the video on so if you guys would like to see us doing our podcast we don't normally sit on stools we're normally normally in more comfortable lower chairs yeah but we're going to try this so go to youtube.com slash Curtis Tucker TV and this episode will be on there on the YouTube channel. Yeah, and I, uh, and I and I apologize. I did not know we were doing this. So he dressed inappropriately. And he knew we were doing this, and he dressed inappropriately. At least I got the Enid Buzz. So the next, the, maybe next week, <laughs> if, if this turns out kind of cool, we'll video all of the podcasts <clears throat> and we'll wear our bottle cap. Yeah, I can't believe we don't have our bottle cap T-shirt so we could show you. Because if we showed you guys, I go get one. You would. You can go get one. A bottle cap t-shirt. Oh, no, no, oh, not, the not the 70s buzz. Not the 70s buzz, yeah. Because if you guys saw it, you would buy it on the spot. So oh. go to bottlecapsmercantile.com, bcmerc.com, and you can buy your t-shirt there. Mine was folded up on the dresser, sitting right there, my bright yellow. And I, By the way, I look really good in yellow. Sitting right there in all its glory, and I thought, no, we're going to eat one today. Not knowing, but he yeah. didn't. He didn't. He didn't let me know. But see, here's the thing: I didn't wear mine either, so it's perfect. So <laughs> no shirts. Th- it, you'll. It's something to look forward to. So next week, if we video, <laughs> if we do this, look forward to our t-shirts next week. Now you know this is not the first time we've done video and stuff. No, we tried this a long time ago. This time a year, a year ago. This time we were doing a, another thing, and it, it's out there on the interweb somewhere. But Buzzhead Radio. Buzzhead Radio, and you can actually find it where. Uh, we did a morning show for like a month. Yeah, with our, our old friend Natalie. Natalie's no longer with us. No, she's not. There was a terrible accident. Dun, 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 she got a dun, new job. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, yeah. She left us, so... Uh... Hi, Natalie, we love you. Okay, so let's talk about today's episode real quick. Yeah. What we have decided to do, it's January, we've got a whole year of new episodes. What we've decided to do is tackle the 70s one year at a time, one month at a time. So... Tonight, we're going to talk about 1970. Hang on, one year at a time, one month at a time. That's and then we'll have a couple, time. then we, you know, we might miss or something, so. But, so in February, it would be probably 1971. We'll do them in order. So, tonight's episode is all about <laughs> 1970. Really, the basics, uh, highlights, facts, figures, what we were doing in 1970. Ooh, 1970. And why would we even be talking about uh, the years uh, in the 70s, Mr. Well, Wheeler? Because it was the greatest decade known to man! See, you finally got to see us do that if you're watching the video. If there you're you not go. watching the video, run over to YouTube and <laughs> check us out real quick. So. Hey, can they simul listen to this? I think they probably could. <laughs> I guess if they're watching it on YouTube, they don't need to listen to it on the podcast. But no, listen to it, listen to it on your wherever you listen to your podcast because it helps our uh, our numbers, which yeah. have been really really good lately. This last last week was like <laughs> numbers. Yeah, you real. guys. Yeah, iHeartRadio. We got a lot of extra listeners from iHeartRadio for some reason. Yeah. Uh, just a shout out to Tony Tony Yahoo real quick. Um, he really liked the game show episode. Sent us a lot of uh, his thoughts on the game show episodes, which is really cool. Uh, go to iTunes or send us email buzz at buzzheadmedia.com. We'll probably change that, I guess, to 70s buzz here one of these days. But send us buzz at buzzheadmedia.com. And he gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, like six new episode ideas. So if you guys have some really cool ideas for episodes, please send it to us. We would love to use them. Tony Yahoo. That's Tony. 
what's his last uh, Tony Yahoo. That's no his last name. What's his last name? Oh, uh, um, well I call him Tony Yahoo because that's his what Tony it, it's uh, Tony J E. Uh, why did I do we know? Is that that's the same Tony that uh, uh, put uh, sends messages to Enid or uh, Bushead Radio? I believe so. Okay. I they think, I don't, we've got, I don't know, we're, we're starting to get a lot more messages from people and emails and things. So. Yeah, and they're coming into different places, and Curtis has... i got too many accounts. He's got... I'm trying to consolidate this yeah. year, so... Yeah, I, I can't even keep up. That, that is a goal. Yeah, uh, 70s Buzz Podcast does not even have a Facebook page. And we may not have one. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, let us know if you guys want us to have a Facebook page, or if you want us to have an Instagram account, or a... Twitter account or just stick or YouTube it's its own YouTube account. let us know what you would prefer or if you just want to stick with the podcast yeah oh we could be on TikTok 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 yeah I had to, I had to school Curtis on TikTok the other day my son posted a video of, of me on yeah TikTok. now now all I get is TikTok ads on Facebook thanks <laughs> did you really oh yeah oh because you clicked on it yeah not because I had a viral viral video no no he says it's not viral. A million is viral. No, it's not. A million is viral. Hey, we better get into the episode. Okay. We're on video and we're like lollygagging, so... Uh, lollygagging. That's a term from the 70s. Do away. And this is our studio, so what do you guys think about... Let us know what you think about our studio. Um, It'd be nice if our cameraman could pan around. Yeah, but he's a little stiff over there, <laughs> so... We can't afford a cameraman. Okay, so... Unless we sold a whole bunch... Uh, t-shirts, t-shirts at bcmerk.com and then we could afford a camera guy. You like that segue? Hint, hint. So, uh, Mr. Wheeler, 1970. That was like the beginning of the, the greatest, 70s. The greatest decade known to man. So, uh, well, this is funny because th this is really apropos because this is the way I take notes and that's the way Curtis takes notes. See, I'm old school. Very apropos right uh, here. I, uh, I like to write it down. Old school. I don't, Mr. Know, I don't Mr. know how to school. do all that. Okay, so let, I think we ought to start out with what we were doing in 1970. Do you remember what you were doing in 1970? Well, I just, I just so happen to remember, and I don't know why I remember this, January 1st, 1970. Wow. Yeah, you have talked about that before. Yeah, I have talked about it before because it was, I remember, and, and I was, uh, I looked up earlier what the weather was like. <laughs> what the hell? Church lady. Oh, I was... Why are you didn't trip it? It's because we're on video. <laughs> Satan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I distinctly remember it was 1970, January 1st, 1970, and it was the weather seemed to be nice. And I tried to look up what the weather was January 1st, 1970. It probably was. It was in 1980, uh, 1970, excuse me. And uh, I remember sitting out in my front yard, I believe I was sitting on the hood of my mom and dad's car, thinking, wow, it's a whole new decade. You know, because up until that time, it only been the 60s, you know. And yeah. I was like, wow, it's a whole new decade. I was just like kind of freaking out. I think, wow, it's a whole new decade. I kind of remember that too. Now, I don't remember January 1st, but I kind of remember going in. And if most of my memories begin around 1970s. I mean, I remember, you know, lots of bits and parts of being younger in the 60s, but kind of like almost on a day-to-day basis. Basis of, of most of the things that I was doing, 1970 kind of seems like where my memory really started kicking in. Yep. So I, uh, and I don't know the exact months, but my parents, I believe, were getting divorced around the end of 1969. And so we moved, my mom moved us back to Enid, and we moved in with my grandma. So in 1970, I was seven years old. Uh, throughout almost all the year, and then I turned eight in December of 1970. But so, so for the most of 1970, I was uh, seven years old, mm -hmm. had just moved to Enid, uh, parents getting divorced or had already gotten divorced, uh, living with grandma, and uh, started school over at Lincoln Elementary. Oh, I thought you went to McKinley. Well, I started at Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Lincoln where's Lincoln at? Well, it's next to Emerson. Oh, it's not there now. Well, it's there now, but it turned into a special education oh. type of school. In 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 the seventies it was uh, just another elementary school. Why'd you go to Lincoln? McKinley was a lot closer. No, because we because my mom worked at the First United Methodist Church, oh, which was near Lincoln. Because oh. we just moved back to town. Okay. Okay, so we just moved back to town. My mom got a job at the church which was close to Lincoln. 
So she had us going to school at Lincoln, and, and people are like, you're telling too many details because we don't live in Enda. But um, so we rented a house on South Jackson, right behind Pizza Inn. Okay. Okay, so, so that's where we lived, in a rent house there. And the last time I saw my dad was living in that house in 1970. Um, I think, I can't, I see, I don't remember. The, I'll have to look up when their exact divorce date was. But they were, they were towards the end of the divorce. And he, he was off doing his single thing and was tan and showed up on a motorcycle. And, uh, and that, I, I, that was the last time I ever even spoke to him. Wow. Not only was it the last time I ever saw him, but last time I ever spoke to him, 1970. Wow. So he, after that, he was out of there, never came back to Enid, never tried to contact us again, ever. Um, oh, bummer. Yeah. And so, so then, I believe... My mom, not too long after, I think she might have got a job out at the Air Force Base here in town. So we moved over to South Johnson across from my great grandma uh -huh. so she could kind of keep an eye on us. Right. And that's when I went to, so the second half of first grade, uh, I went to McKinley. I never knew you went to Lincoln. Yeah, went to Lincoln when we first moved to town, not, I, maybe for a semester, maybe only for a couple months, and then transferred to Mrs. Heitzman's class oh. over in McKinley. Oh, Mrs. Heitzman. Mrs. Heitzman. And I still remember, you know, Carmel Hollander and... Um, Hi, Carmel. I mean, there's a lot of... I, a lot of people we graduated with, we were all... Mm -hmm. we, we went to school together all the way through first grade to graduation. Oh, yeah, I have, I have those uh, from Glenwood. Uh, 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 Nancy Hawthorne... Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need to get uh, our little, little, our little, little group picture out and, yeah. and look at it. Yeah, yeah, Mark... Uh, Mark Mankin came over this weekend because my sister was in. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Riley. Uh, uh, they were in town this weekend from Florida, and uh, Mark came over. Marky Mark dropped by. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and um, uh, little shorty pictures of. For some reason, I have our th second or third or fourth grade picture on Facebook, and I was pulling up, and we had that hot teacher, Mrs. Morris. She had that big hairdo. Ooh, nice. You know, anyway. Nice. Anyway, so yeah. So, so that's basically what we were up to specifically. In 70? In 1970, yeah. Oh, well. And so now we'll kind of get to uh, basically what was going on in the world. And then I think, you know, whatever you, know, whatever you mostly remember. Um, so what do you, what do you got on, on the year 1970? This will be interesting how the, the, uh, the, the years go because, you know, you and I don't, Probably weren't old enough to uh, to remember uh, news events or, or events of the world or whatever because we were you know yeah. six and seven and whatever yeah um, out playing all the time out, yeah um, actually the the ones that I have jotted down I don't remember but th there they were probably the biggest thing was that's the year the Beatles broke up yeah. And I, you know, I do not remember any of that. Don't remember the Beatles breaking up. Um, I, I, I remember my mom having LPs and having Beatles LPs, but they were all from the 60s. Yeah. I don't know that she had any, even late 60s music from the Beatles. It was all, I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. All, all the old stuff. So I, I, I had no concept of the Beatles hand. breaking up. They weren't. They really weren't together that long, were they? I I don't know because yeah. I don't know what year they got together. I want to say. Oh, yeah, see, we got that on Sorry. video. He's yeah. trying to knock the picture down. That's a that's an Eskimo, Eskimo Joel poster. Stillwater, Oklahoma, right there. Yeah, you all know who that is. Yeah. Uh, here's an so I guess we'll we'll, we'll tell a lot of the um, big events and interesting facts. Uh, Probably the most watched soap opera and probably the one I watched because I was forced to watch as a kid. Because when you're a kid and there's a, only a certain number of TVs and your great-grandma is watching you and you, she watches soap operas. You watch what great-grandma watches. You kind of had to watch what great-grandma. So let, me, let me guess. All My Children. All My Children uh, started in 1970. How do I know? Can you believe that? On ABC? Erica Kane. Was Erica Kane on the first? She had to have been. I think. think I, is, she, is she still on? She's probably still on. I'm guessing she's still on. Probably on her 207th husband, I would guess. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't she even... She was hot. Well, I can't even remember. She must have... I bet she had. She was married seven times in the years that I watched. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. I just remember she was... She was always... 
Sorry if this is loud, but this is what we do. We sneak, we sneak candy. You can see Todd eating his candy, and and you know I'm always I'm never doing anything. I'm always concentrating on the show. Yeah, because here's what we do. It's Tuesday. Every Tuesday we go across the hall to eat at Callahan's, best steak in town. And when we get these mints when we come back, I don't eat steak every night. I had nachos tonight. That was pretty good. Anyway, I'm sorry. You digress. I digress. Is the camera's throwing me off. Yeah. Pretend like pretend it's been, like it's not there. It's been a while since we've done cameras. Pretend stuff. the camera's in its underwear and you'll be less nervous. Isn't that how what they isn't that that phrase they say? You need to change your underwear camera. Um Top Song of the Year. You know what that was in nineteen seventy. Oh, 1970. oh I didn't uh, hang on a minute. Um uh, group or single artist? Uh ooh, neither. I guess duo. Oh, duo. Oh, had to be uh had to be uh Simon and Garfunkel. It was. Um uh, uh hang on. Um tr Trouble Water. Bridge over yep. Bridge over Trouble Water. Bridge over Troubled Water. Yes. Top oh, song. I'm so Nineteen seventy. So good. Was that has it? Superstar. Yep, here's a, a television highlight. Mm -hmm. um, highest paid woman on television with 40%, 42% viewing audience, Debbie Reynolds. She quit her show because NBC ran cigarette commercials during her airtime. Ooh. Okay. Think about that. Think about that. Not only were there cigarette commercials on TV, yeah. but... Somebody was making a big deal out of it, and now we're all right. Now we're to the point where Oklahoma, we have medical marijuana, and you can go get marijuana and see ads on it all over the place. It's uh, <laughs> things have changed since 1970. Oh, hey, listen, don't tell the federal government, but you can smoke marijuana in Oklahoma now if you have a little card. Don't tell the feds though, because it's against the law federally. Yeah, yeah. So we're one of the yeah. I, you it, if you guys knew the th we didn't get tattoos in Oklahoma until what five five six years ago <laughs> we didn't get we couldn't drink alcohol on Sunday in Oklahoma until like we couldn't buy alcohol buy alcohol you couldn't buy alcohol on a Sunday and four five years ago until four or five years ago but now At a now, now you can get marijuana anytime you want yeah. Wow. It's a wild, wild west. Things are changing around here. Wild, wild west. Um, big movies of 1970. Oh. Anything come to mind? Uh, let me guess. Hang on, hang on. <clears throat> Not Butch Cassidy. No, no. Uh, uh, the Sting. No. Well, what? it could be, but I'm the... Okay, I the, we should... Because I'm just... <laughs> some of the big movies, Love Story. Uh, yeah. Airport. Oh, yeah. MASH. Mash, mash. Okay, now here's a. I think I've told this before on prior episodes. I I remember my mom taking me to Love Story. <laughs> it was at the Esquire yeah. on West Randolph, and I remember having to sit there and watch. Uh, you you were dying. I had to have been. Oh. Uh, I mean, but it was full. I remember the theater being packed. Yeah. Yeah. Love Story, 1970. I actually remember my mother taking me to that. I don't mean to get off on a tangent. But you will. But I will. Speaking of MASH, yeah, they got a podcast. Who? Alan Alda has a podcast. Oh, he does? Yeah. It's not out yet. It's does he talk about MASH? Oh, yeah. I did see. Yeah. Where did, I saw something about him. It's the MASH podcast. He's going to talk about MASH? Yeah. Really? I think it starts uh, February 5th, I think. Oh, wow. I'm going to start listening okay, to that Okay, Alan, one. we... We we we, uh, we helped you. We helped you. You helped us. Yeah. Get us on your show. We'll get you on our show. Yeah. Because... We'll, you'll need our promotion. Yeah, like, we've been around a lot longer. Uh, what's your estimate that a loaf of bread cost in 1970? 35 cents. How about 25 cents? Okay. Well, I bought good bread. Okay, and we, we had discussed earlier, what uh, what uh, really cool cars came out in 1970? Oh, oh, let me tell you. Uh, September 10th, 1970, the Vega, the Chevy Vega came out. The next day, 9-11... The Pinto was introduced. The Ford Pinto. Can you? Do you have on your little cheat sheet over there the cost of a Ford Pinto in 1970? You got the Ford Pinto was eight hundred thousand dollars, and the Chevy Vega was thirty-seven cents. Maybe not. Listen to this. I can't. I, this this boggles my mind. A Ford Pinto in 1970. Let me guess. Hang on. Twenty-five hundred bucks. Nineteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Nineteen hundred dollars. <laughs> I think I could go buy one right now if I wanted to. I mean, our phones are almost $1,900. <laughs> they will be next year. I mean, it's crazy. You could buy a 
brand new Bento for 19, wait, no, it'd explode and kill you, but remember that, that 60s Minute episode? No, I don't. Was I, that in the 70s or was, I think that, I think they exposed the Pinto in the 70s on that 60 Minute That was episode. Ralph Nader, wasn't it? I thought it was 60 Minutes, I don't yeah, know, I don't know, anyway. Remember Pat Bumpus, he had that Pinto? I do remember. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. We need to look him up. We do. Uh, world population, what do you think it was in 1970? Well, I don't know. Maybe it was 3.63 uh, billion people? Mm, yep. Yep. And uh, like 2 billion of those are Chinese? Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm trying to think of what it is today. Um, it's 3.7 billion. I don't know. What, what, was it, what was the U.S. population? In 1970? Yep. That's about 250 now. I'd say 190. 190 what? 195. 195 what? Oh, 195 million. Uh, that's 205 million. Close. Very good. Oh, well, so it's, uh, yeah, it's only, we haven't grown a huge, huge amount. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, what about life expectancy for men in 1970? Oh, golly. They didn't, uh, 69. 67, pretty darn close. Ooh. And then what do you think about for the old females? Oh, they, they live longer. 75. And there you go. 74.7, which is 75. Man, I'm good. I'm on fire tonight. I wonder what it is today. I don't, we didn't look that up, but uh, it's got to be, I think we got to be inching up towards the 80s or over 80s by now, especially for women. Well, this is the 70s podcast, not the 2019s. So we're not going to talk about that. Podcast. That's for somebody else down the road. Uh, Southwest Airlines began flying on June 18th. Oh, 1971. What is it? <sighs> what? Dude, that's, that's next month's that episode. There. Yeah. Uh, Oh, here now here's a little fact that I just learned on my computer right now. You guys are witnessing, right? <laughs> Samsung. What what do they sell? Oh, the best phone in the world. Do you know what they started out selling in 1970? Um, uh, well, just, okay, okay. I, they, they started selling electronics in 1970. Right. But guess what kind of a company they were before they sold electronics in 1970? I'm going out on a limb here. I bet it was like something like dog food or something. Noodles. Close. It was food. Samsung was a noodle company. I was close. In 1970, they saw somehow somebody went back. What forward, was it? Forward. 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 Went back forward. in. Back in. What's the name of that movie? Uh, back to the Future? Yeah, back, they went back to the future and somebody said, oh, we should get into, like, like drop the noodles, let's get into electronics, and yeah. they did. I think they're doing pretty well. They're doing all right. Not as good as Apple, but I don't like it. George Harrison sub subconsciously plagiarized a 1963 song called He's So Fine While Writing He's So Fine My Sweet Lord. By the way, I have to sing every episode. Sorry. Yeah, had to get that in. And if you if you are listening, go watch the video. You can see Todd singing. <laughs> uh, 1970, Mr. Olympia. Oh. You know Arnold was competing back Arnold. then. Oh, he's not. Was he not Mr. Olympia? Well, they, the judges could not decide between Arnold and uh, Sergio. Olivia. So uh, the two of them, exhausted, agreed to walk off. Sergio Nobody. left, but Arnold, after taking one step, turned back to the judges, mocked Sergio for leaving, and started posing again and won. Of course. You dirty dog. But yeah, that's exactly what I would have done. I'd be like, okay, let's quit. You go ahead, go off stage. And I'd, I'll that's out. what he did. Yeah, he was out of his time. Okay, I'm going to run through a couple of sports things real quick. Uh, oh, no, we're doing sports. Baltimore Oreos, World Series champions in 1970. Woohoo, they won the Triple Crown. Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs. Yeah. Came close this year. Yeah, they won it. They won the Super Bowl. They won the the uh, the Stanley Cup. Yay! No, uh, National Basketball Association champions. Uh, hang on, Boston Celtics. Knickerbockers. What? The Knickerbockers. Never heard of them. New York Knicks, short for Knickerbockers. Is it really? Yeah, you didn't know. I didn't know oh, that. Oh come on! Yeah, my my computer went to sleep. I don't like it when it does that. Okay, New York Knickerbockers. Uh, Stanley Cup. You talked about. Yes. The Boston Bruins. Bruins. Tony Jacklin won the U.S. Open as far as golf. Gaff. He, um, he won the gaff stuff. Johnny Newcomb. Margaret Court won Wimbledon. Newcomb. Damn near killed him. There, yep. Uh, and guess, just take a wild guess who won the World Soccer Cup that year. Brazil. There. Man, I'm a fire. Who, who else would have won in 1970? I don't know. No, Pele was around. Was he? Was he there in 70? 
Oh, here's something. Uh, I, he, 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 he was on his way up, at least, if not, I don't know about 1970, but uh, in the 70s. Um, NCAA football champions. Can you guess who that was? NCAA, that'd be the national, at the college level. College level. Now, remember, back in those days, they were called mythical championships because there was no. You were champion if you were the, in the top of the pole. Oh. There was no playoff. There was no final oh, game. Really? Yeah, it was all a myth. All of OU's championships up until about Stoops, all, we call mythical, because there really wasn't an actual championship. Really? Yeah. So they're mythical. Oh. So you're not going to know the answer to this. So the the I, NCAA football champion. Dude, in 19, I've been on fire tonight. I couldn't figure. Listen, okay. 1970 was Nebraska. Ohio State and Texas. All three of them? <laughs> all th probably, they were all three probably top of three different polls, and so they all claimed, they all probably, that was a thing. If two different polls claimed uh, different teams, there was always an argument <clears throat> over which team was actually the national champion. Well, it's a good thing they got it straightened out now, huh? <laughs> Here, give me. What's she talking about, Willis? <laughs> yeah. you, guys, you guys have to see that. Um, <laughs> Kentucky Derby winner was Dust Commander. Yeah. Uh, Times, Time Magazine's Man of the Year, Willie Brandt. I can honestly oh. say I have no idea who Willie Brandt is. William. Uh, Miss, Miss Michigan won Miss America. Miss Virginia won Miss USA. And I would tell you their names, but you're not going to know. What's them. the difference between Miss USA and Miss America? Miss... America goes on to Miss Universe, uh, I believe, and Miss USA doesn't. Okay, everybody. I think everybody it, or, chime in and or, correct or, or it's or it's opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody screaming at their. I think I'm right though. I think America goes on to Universe. Mm. I think. Um, let's see. What other things you got over there? Ah, I have a. I have a. Uh, it's the first Earth Day. 1970? Really? Yeah. That far been, back? Yeah. I had no idea. The EPA was established in 1970? Environmental Protection Agency? Yeah, yeah, which I suppose is a pretty good thing. Well, uh, if there was Earth Day, I guess there you go. Yeah, I guess they kind of go together. Um, May 4th, 1978, or 1970. Uh, alas, it's 78. That's a different happening. Uh, National Guard fires. On students at Kent State, killing yeah, four people. Yeah, that would, and what was the famous song, um, Ohio, by um, Presby Stills. Oh, if yeah. I'm, if I'm getting that wrong, they're going to be screaming, but yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. what that song was, uh, one of those songs. Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin died the same year. And how old were they? 27, 27 Club. 27 Club. Yeah, uh, Jimmy died of a barbiturate overdose in, over there, he's in, he was across the seas, he was overseas, I think, and Janis died of a heroin overdose. It was the first flight of a jumbo jet. The first time the Concorde went supersonic. Uh, wow. Yeah. 1970. Wow. Yeah. The LCD, the liquid crystal display, was invented in 1970. Things were happening. Oh, it was a happening year, man. I uh, didn't even know. And October 1970 is when PBS started. That's right. Can you imagine? I, I just always assumed it was always around, but... About the time we started watching PBS was when it came out. When it came out. Sesame Street, people. Sesame Street. wonder what year Sesame Street came out. I'll have to look that. Well, I guess it must have been out by 1970 because I've got some, some really notable quotes from 1970. Hit me. The first one is... Suck it to me. From Kermit the Frog. Oh. It's not easy being green. It ain't easy being green. Uh, easy. Next one. I told my coach, Jimi Hendrix just died, and I'm quitting the team to become a guitar player. Joe Satriani. Oh, quitting what team? I think uh, he's a baseball player. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think mean, he's a baseball player. Probably so. Or soccer. Um, it could have been soccer. Allie McGraw in the love story. She yeah. said, "Love means never having to say, say you're sorry." You're sorry. Oh, How about Coke sad. coming out with this this uh, this slogan? It's the real thing. It is the real thing. 1970. It's the real right there. Thing. Uh, let's see, I got a little Elvis thing. Uh, after Elvis performed Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Turtled Water, Paul Simon, who attended the show in Vegas, said, that's it, we might as well all give up now. 
Why? Oh, because it didn't get any better when Elvis I did guess it. So. Okay, was, I thought I thought for a minute there you were like saying yeah, no. he was smacking him. No, I think he liked oh, it. Yeah. I think he liked oh, it. Oh yeah, because oh yeah. How about a uh, little little pulp 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 culture? Easy for you to say. Uh, Elton John charted a top forty single every single year from nineteen seventy to nineteen ninety seven. So Elton John's rise to fame began in nineteen seventy. What was his real name? He's got a funny real name. Like Darius Rucker. Darius Rucker, that no, was that. It, it's it's up on that poster somewhere. Oh, um, that's another story we can go there. Yeah, I'm trying to think what um um uh, Reginald Yes, Reginald Doobie. Uh, Reginald, Bernie. Uh, I got the first one, you get the second Reginald one. Reginald Doobie. I'm trying to think of where it is up on that poster. Alexa, what's Elton John's real name? Ah, she's in the other room. She can't hear us. You just set off everybody's Alexa that's <laughs> listening to us. So. Alexa, um, turn into, tune in to the 70s Buzz podcast. It's up there. Or it might just be Reginald is what I have up there. So, Reginald but yes. Doobie. Benny. Doobie. Shit, I can't um, Let's see. Sesame Street character Ernie's song, Rubber Ducky, You're the One, Rubber made it to Ducky, number 16 on the Billboard the 100 charts. You made bad times so much. You know, they just, re they just recently, did they, that, did, did they, did they, did they, Bert and Ernie just came out of the closet recently. No. Yeah, they did. Please, dude. No, I think they did. Puppets are not gay. The yeah, guy I, that made I, them can tell you that. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. He's dead. No, I'm going to Google the other guy. Okay, listen to this. Why? This is, this is national. This is coming from a national website. Yeah. On January 3rd, 1970, residents in Oklahoma. Hey. What? Where? That's, that's what? us. That's where we live. Ooh, in yeah. 1970, residents in Oklahoma saw a fireball cross the sky. Mm -hmm. Within four days, researchers had a possible landing zone. Two days later, Gunther Skip Schwartz was driving when he noticed a dark object sitting by the road. Schwartz had found a 9.3 kilogram chunk of... The Lost City Meteorite landed in in Oklahoma, 1970. How about that? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, you're distracted over there. Yeah. Come, exactly. What's his name? Okay. <laughs> no, I went to Bert and Ernie. Oh, you went to Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie are indeed a gay couple. This they are is not. NBC News, so. They are not. I think you can trust NBC. No. I don't no. know about the other guy. Fake. F A K E News. Fake September news. 19th, September 18th, 2018, former Sesame Street writer Mark. Saltzman said Burton and Ernie's relationship was modeled after his own with his life partner, Arnold. Yeah, they're gay. No, they're not what? gay. They're the puppets. Uh, so anyway, hey, how about, I didn't even, can you imagine this? Orville Redenbacher, back in 1970, paid an advertising company $13,000 to come up with a name for his popcorn company. <laughs> Their advice was to call it Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> how much did he pay him? Thirteen thousand dollars, and uh, he had a thirteen thousand dollars in nineteen seventy. Had to be some like, coin, like fourteen thousand. So did he stop payment on the check? Because that'd have been mad. Did I know. I Although know. It, it worked out, so yeah, he probably no. That's probably a good thing. Uh, man, I, Curtis Tucker popcorn. Go with it. Works for me. Well, but Orville Redenbacher. That's it's a little different than Curtis Tucker. That's a great name. Orville Redenbacher. Orville Redenbacher. Oh yeah, Orville it's an awesome name. For especially for popcorn. Yeah. Can you imagine this? Ross Perot was uh, doing stuff in 1970. Yeah. Biggest individual loser ever <laughs> on the New York Stock Exchange. In oh. April 1970, Ross Perot lost $450 million in a single day. $450 million in 1970. That'd be so like... A lot more. Oh. Be like four hundred fifty. One million or something. Uh, Today's on what? On what? I don't know. I'm oh. not sure what happened in 1970. Oh, that sucked. Uh, that hurt. Yeah. Apollo 13, it uh, oh, yeah. held the absolute altitude record for manned spacecraft, reaching a distance of 248,655 miles from Earth. And that's also the one that had the, the uh, they, they almost didn't make it. Yeah. Apollo 13. The oxygen tank blew up or something. Kevin Bacon, Boop. Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Bacon? What do you think movie? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, BBC's rule against product placement forced the lead singer of the Kinks, Ray Davies, to fly back to re-record the words Coca-Cola 
with Cherry Cola in the band's 1970 classic song, Lola. Really? Lola. Oh, sorry. Wow, I didn't know. That's Hello, interesting. So originally in that song, it was Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Oh, wow. He had to change it to Cherry Cola. I didn't know that. Hang on, I got a text. Okay. That in, was from Bart Newman. In 1970, U.S. Surgeon General declared that uh, it was time to close the book on infectious diseases. What do you mean, close the book? Meaning there just weren't any more around. <laughs> Eleven years later, AIDS was clinically observed for the first time. Oops. Somebody missed that one. Maybe they shouldn't have closed the book. Maybe they shouldn't have. Yeah. Glass. Uh, Radio Shack was one of the first companies to start the personal computer revolution back in 1970 with its TRS-80. I remember going to one of the... We had three or four Radio Shacks here in town. Huh? Yeah. And I remember going to the one over at Sunset Plaza. I see this thing, which kind of looks like a TV with some... With... You know, there weren't... With, there with were, one of these I don't think there were mousers back then. No, there, there weren't any, but it had a... Key, a keyboard, key, keyboard, which looked kind of like a typewriter. So there was this TV-looking thing with a, a keyboard-looking thing, and it was sitting there, and there was this little blinking light. It would just blink. That was that was what we called DOS. DOS, yeah. And so I would like... And, and the guy, the salesman, would let you play on it. I guess you couldn't hurt it. And I would, like, type stuff, and it wouldn't do nothing. I was like, well, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. This will never go anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Well, where did it go? Yeah. Now, I remember the exact same thing, but it was 1989. I was a five-year college graduate, had been out in the workforce for three years, and turned on a computer for the first time right. ever. I, I didn't even know how to turn it on. I had to ask the people at work. They were like, you need to enter UPC codes in there. And I was like... What's a UPC code? Uh, no, I knew what that was. I didn't know what a computer was. And so they said, here, here's the on button. It turned it on, and it was a black screen with a blinking thing. And I was like, uh, okay. But then I got to playing with it, and I learned you could type format, and it would format a disk, and you could type a disk? copy. A disk? A copy. Anyway, so that, and then I was freaking addicted to the computer uh, from that moment on. It's, yeah. it's been downhill ever since. I heard about Windows. I told my boss, hey, there's this thing called Windows. He's like, hey, get it and put it on all the computers. And I said, we got to get newer computers. Go get newer. So, and they, uh, that, Jim likes to buy stuff. Yeah, so I went from there to uh, Windows, to PageMaker, to Corel Draw, to uh, Photoshop, to Illustrator, to Internet, building website. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Pretty cool. And here we sit. And here we sit. And now we're on to podcasts and videos and YouTubes and thingamajigger boppers. Oh my God! Wouldn't go that area. Oh my gosh! Are you out of uh, out of stuff? With? I got I got RIPs, scandals, sad and odd news ah, from 1970. RIPs. That would be people who died in 70. Rest in pieces. Well, I already got Janice and Jimmy. So. Okay. Who else died in 70? Well, the Kent State. Uh, uh, yeah, I covered this. Devo bassist Gerald Cassell witnessed the Kent State shootings. Oh, really? That day, he stopped being a hippie and focused on their concept of devolution that ah. mankind had begun to regress. That's where devo, ah. de devolution, not revolution, but devolution. Ah. Right they, there, Kent State, 1970. Good. Who would, who would have thunk? Wow. Wow. That's bizarre. Who else died? Well, again, Jimi Hendrix, he choked on drug-induced vomit. That is why he... What do they call that? Uh, I got a name for that. Yeah. Can't, uh, can't remember. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? The state commission in Mississippi voted to ban Sesame Street because of its highly integrated cast of children. No, they were... They, they, knew, they knew Bert and Ernie were gay. 1970. Well, they would have banned it if they had known that, for sure. Come on, Mississippi. Come on, Miss Zippy. Am I a size <laughs> Oh my, we're thinking alike. Uh, what else we got here? Um, the Oregon Highway Division attempted to blow up a washed ashore dead sperm whale oh. using half a ton of dynamite to dispose of its rotting carcass. The explosion uh, threw whale flesh over 800 feet away, crushing cars and almost <laughs> killing bystanders. They didn't know about directional explosions. I get it. Well, half a ton of dynamite for a half a whale for a whale? Holy oh, moly! That was 
was that was some thinking there. It was like, well, if one stick of dynamite's good, let's get 500 because that'll really work good. Oh, listen to this. Somebody was doing some Frankenstein in 1970. Who? Old Dr. Robert J. White. I didn't know. He was able to completely swap the head of one monkey what? and put it on another monkey and have it remain alive for nine days. I've never heard of such a thing. What? 1970. What? Yeah, what? what? Wait, what? Hang on, only I wonder one. which monkey it was. Oh, was, it, was it Davy Jones or was it... <laughs> Peter Tork? Or... Peter Tork. I wonder which two monkeys it was. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so which... Only one of the monkeys live, though? I mean... I, I'm... Oh, man, that's sick. That's some twisted stuff right there. Well, poor, yeah. poor little monkeys. Yeah. yeah. Where? 1970, man. Oh, man. How about Sean Flynn? Son of famous actor Errol Flynn Arrow. was a freelance photojournalist who covered the Vietnam War. He was on an assignment in Cambodia in 1970 and has never been heard from since. Wow. Yeah. That ain't good. He yeah. probably don't mean it. Yeah, so uh, that was another big event, uh, oh, Cam wait. the attack on Cambodia in 1970. Um, Project Blue Book. Isn't there like a new series? Yeah, I can't get into it. Well, I'm, I can't either, but listen to this. Project Blue Book was U.S. government study on UFOs from 1952 through 1970. A 14-part report was issued, but Chapter 13 was mysteriously missing. It still is. Chapter 13. Uh-oh. I bet it's on the 13th floor of the Skirvin. Ooh. You know, hotels don't have 13 floors, right? Uh, Broadway Tower does. Well, except that one. I think it does. Well, I don't does know it? that it does. Does this... I don't think it does. No, this only goes up to 11. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, very interesting. Yeah, what else we got here? Um, Doc Ellis pitched a no-hitter for the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1970. I'm sorry, Doc. While he was on high on LSD. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. He didn't get any hits? No. Oh, he pitched no-hitter. That's a good thing. Yeah, he pitched a no-hitter on LSD. Yeah. We're not real uh, sporty. Um, wow, a bomb exploded in the Senate chamber of the Louisiana State Capitol building and left a pencil embedded in the ceiling where it remains to this day. Really? Interesting. I want to go yank it out Let's just to go. piss them off. <laughs> Be like, hey guys, look, here's a pencil. <laughs> I'm like, no! Uh, one of the most... Uh, uh, Sought after Christmas gifts. Oh, hang on, 1970. Yeah. Uh, not Stretch Armstrong. No. No, it'd probably be the. Well, it could be, but the Big Wheel. Well, one of them was the Stylophone musical toy, Mastermind Whizzer. I don't remember that toy. Mm. Um, I got a tricycle. In 1970, Totes brought the first quality folding umbrella to U.S. markets. I guess quality is the key word there, because they had umbrellas way before 1970. <laughs> what did Gary say? It's been around a long time. Crazy glue was introduced in 1970, um, but it was discovered, the ingredients were discovered actually in 1942, while working, a guy was working for Kodak, came up with crazy glue. Hmm. Interesting. Cost of a Super Bowl ad in 1970, what do you think? Uh, Nowadays they go for uh, well over a million at least. Probably $1,200. No, seventy eight thousand. Well, I don't watch Super Bowl, so seventy. I guess I didn't even wonder. I wouldn't even thought of Super Bowl ads in nineteen seventy. I would just, to me, it would have just been a, an ad. I mean, but what? I guess I wonder if they. I wonder if anybody geared their commercials to the Super Bowl like they do now. You know, here's the one thing I wonder. Wonder about Super Bowl ads. What's that? You know, they're always like over the top and overly funny and overly Dumb. bring a year a tear to your eye. How come they don't do them um, all year long? Oh. How come they... Well, because then they wouldn't be special. Yeah, but wouldn't you get more bang for your buck if your commercials were better throughout the year and not just on one day? Well, I think you uh, you kind of uh, desensitize the public to the uh, great ads. I mean, what... I'm not, I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it. Well, Guess what magazine started in 1970? Mad Magazine. National Lampoon. National Lampoon. I was close. Uh, Smithsonian also began publication in 1970. Some of the habits going on in 1970? Mm -hmm. Guess what the what cartoon the cool kids were reading in 1970? Uh, sad, sad. Now think um, 
think um, rebellion. Um, think you're probably not going to know this. Um, I don't, I can't think of the word I'm thinking. Of. Anyway, Doonesbury, uh, 1970. Oh. Um, people, what? Guess what books people were reading? They were reading Love Story, of course, and Deliverance. The books, yeah, the books in 1970. Squee, squee like a pig, mad baby. Okay, I'm gonna go through some real, uh, real quick. Hey, we got enough time on? We still got time? We run out of time? How are we doing on? Oh shit, we're way over. Uh oh. Okay, real, real quick. <laughs> Biggest shows 1970. Marcus Welby, number one. Oh, I love that show. A uh, Flip Wilson show. Flip. Here's Lucy. Ironside, Gunsmoke, ABC Movie of the Week, Hawaii Five O, Medical Center, Bonanza, the FBI, and the Mod Squad. See any oh, themes going on Mod in those Squad. those top shows there? No. Remember, we got in trouble for playing Mod Squad music. Oh, we did, didn't we? We got a cease and desist, but we didn't cease or desist. No, we never do that. Um, some of the biggest artists. Let's see. Number one hits. Uh, Someday we'll be together. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Raindrops keep falling on Venus, my head. Venus, I want you back. And just like the guy water. Let it be. ABC by the Jackson yeah. Five. Let American Woman be. by the Guess Who. American Woman. Uh, That's the first CD I ever had. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, lots of other stuff. Let's see. Popular movies. Uh, remember the Aristocats? Yep. That uh, Walt Disney cartoon? Yep. Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Beneath. Do you, have you ever seen Beyond the Valley of the Dolls? No, we have seen Valley of the Dolls. Okay, this is Beyond. Yeah. So they were doing sequels way back when. Five Easy Pieces? Wasn't that a... Uh, was that a... Clint? Uh, Eastwood? I think it may have been one of the spaghetti westerns. Maybe. Though. I don't know. Give Me Shelter, which I don't really remember. Uh, Little Big Man? Was Little Big Man in that was Dustin, Dustin Hoffman, Hoffman in 1970? Wow, I wouldn't have guessed it was that far back. Yeah. yeah. Um, Patton. Oh, that's a good movie. The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes. If you could sit through it long enough. Yeah. Let's see, what else? I saw that at the movie theater. Oh, you did? Pat yeah. Or? Yeah. Uh, I think it was The Drive-In, actually. Really? Remember The Drive-In? Oh, yeah, drive-ins were, yeah, I remember seeing um, Woody Allen, I don't know if it was 1970, but it was pretty early, um, Woody Allen's... <laughs> the goofy one? Yeah, where they, the sex machine. Sex, yeah. That, what was that dang movie called? The Orgasmatron. Agor, 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 Eric Wright's parents took us to see that. <laughs> oh. And I, I kid you not, we couldn't have been... Oh, much yeah. past because it was Eric Wright. Staten hadn't moved to town, so it had to be fifth grade, fourth or fifth grade. Yeah. Which uh, was in 1970, but... Um, that was, I can't remember the name of the movie. I always remember it until right now. <laughs> yeah. Woody Allen, you guys are screaming. I know you, you guys remember it, so... Um, send it. Tell us. Tell yeah, us. Tell us. Somebody tell us. Uh, anything else before we get out of here? Uh, Nixon was uh, um, kind of mixing it up uh, over there in Vietnam. Uh, Cambodia. Was, in Cambodia. Yeah. Um, Oh, what other big thing? Any other super major things? I know you guys send yes. us in what you mem remember from just 1970. The um, super biggest thing was go to uh, Buzzhead, no, uh, bcmerk.com and get a 70s Buzz Podcast t-shirt, take a picture, and send it to us. Yeah, and we'll wear ours hopefully next, uh, next episode. So anyway, we hope if you're watching this on video, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is what we look like. This is kind of how we do the show. We, uh, If you're going to notice... What? Watching this video, what? the video what? is going to match the podcast. What? what you may not know about Todd and I, what? we don't edit. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. What, what you hear is what we said, yeah. so we do not go back and edit. And you yeah. probably, you, some of you are like, yeah, we know. We know. But, yeah. uh, we, I, lop off, I, like, I lop off the first few minutes when we're just talking and getting ready to stick the intro on and our our little music thingy and we go yeah there's no splicing and dicing on this show now our first few episodes yeah, we, we used did. to take out all the ums and do that, we even say ums anymore no, um, I don't think so um, I don't know either yeah. um, but that was painstaking and ridiculous it was because you guys don't care do you no so anyway, thank you guys for listening. Uh, iTunes, leave us a review, leave us a message. Buzz at Buzzhead Media, send us an email. Go to bcmerk.com. Go to youtube.com slash Curtis Tucker TV. You'll get to see this video if you're listening to this on podcast. Thank you guys for listening. We're going to get out of here. Cheer See ya. I got to turn the thing on. No, I'm going to go turn my thing off. Oh, oh yay.
Yeah. He... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my back. Oh, yeah, we got to. Uh, 